welcome back to the region at 120 and I, I, I guess I'm your host here uh, Jeff Clay uh, here in beautiful Thunder Bay Ontario Canada uh, home base at the uh, I guess Waverly library here and uh, today we're going to be talking about uh, presuppositions uh, the very idea of what is a presupposition well you can kind of take it apart a little bit and you can look at this as pre suppose or presupposing knowledge. And so what does this mean? This means that you're, 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 it's the knowledge that is required to make sense of some other knowledge. So if I am uh, explaining something to you, the things that I take for granted uh, are what I'm presupposing that you know. And what I, there's really uh, two senses that you can say this of certain things, which is that either um, the, what is being presupposed uh, is in order to make what you're saying uh, sensible at all. Like so, you would actually have to understand the words that I'm, I'm using. You would have to have encountered most of them, or at least uh, have a way of looking them up in order to understand anything that I say whatsoever. Uh, or uh, there's an alternative kind of way of looking at this, in that it's what you're presupposing to that the reader, or, or what you're taking for granted that the reader knows in order that they believe what you're about to say is true. So if you're making some argument, uh, maybe not even the, the, the premises and the, 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 the argument, or, or, or argument form uh, necessarily, but uh, there, there may be things that they, they, the, the person who's listening or that you're arg giving the argument to uh, has to know in order to make the conclusion or, or in order to grasp the form of the argument, or, or in order to, to kind of full up or, uh, fill out uh, what you're saying to have it make sense. And so uh, sometimes these two things can be related, but uh, it, in general, it, it's going to be one of those two things. So I can, uh, for example, so, uh, presuppose that you've seen or read something, like for example, Vicart's 12 Tones YouTube video, uh, which is definitely worth watching. Um, but uh, again, this is all about you know trying to, to understand what is being talked about. So uh, if, if you're um, trying, to, if, if I were to teach you, say, Fourier analysis or Fourier transforms, uh, I wouldn't do so without teaching you first about integrals, or Euler's or Euler, however you pronounce that, identity, uh, Dirac's comb, which in turn would presuppose uh, that I had either taught you or that you had encountered Dirac's delta limits, maybe derivatives, uh, which in turn needs a lot to, to get through. So uh, the, the idea being is that either you're going to teach the, the, the listener something or, or, or if giving an argument, either you're going to include explicitly the, the, the premises or as premises, things that you uh, are, are going to be using as part of the argument, or you're going to assume that the reader already believes them. Uh, I, you would presuppose that the reader already, or the, the listener, or the, the person you're giving the argument to, um, has that knowledge, or, or knows that that particular subject matter, or has read that book, or understands those words. And sometimes you can get away with uh, understanding all the details of, you know, some things. So, for example, you can use fast Fourier transforms with under, un understanding how exactly Fourier analysis works. Uh, but for a great deal of things, you do have to either describe or assume that the, the person you're describing, the kind of higher level feature to, has at least the understanding of the lower level feature. We can, of course, flip this entire thing around and say, what it is are that, you know, what, what is it that you understand about what you're talking about uh, that someone else may or may not understand. What is it that you believe in, in what is it that you're describing to be true uh, that you would have to assume that someone would also have to believe in order to also detect whether that thing is true or false? Uh, what is it that you have read that perhaps you're taking for granted that someone else has read? What is it that you're, 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 you're supposing that the, the, the listener, the reader, or the person you're talking to has in their mind that you're not explicitly asking them or telling them about. What is it? What are you presupposing? That is the question. 
Uh, and, and this kind of way of framing what it is that you're, you're asking for goes quite far back in our history. Um, the, I, 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 it kind of reminds me of uh, uh, Epictetus uh, in his quote, uh, but if you suppose that only to be your own, which is your own, and what belongs to others, such as it really is, then no one will, will ever compel you or restrain you. Although in this case, he didn't actually use the, the word presuppose. Uh, he, he's clearly using the, the, the word suppose and probably the Greek word that translates to both in a very similar sense. And in terms of you're, 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 you're required to, uh, to, to look back and to make sure that when you are making an argument that you are clear about what you're assuming to be the case. And if you can uh, dig deeper into that, sometimes you can learn things, you can learn about things that you aren't as clear about, uh, you can have a, an understanding that can go deeper. So uh, hopefully that is uh, a, a good way of describing it. Uh, if you need some more examples or, or a, a more detailed uh, discussion, uh, I think this video has gotten long enough for now, but I could certainly go on for more. So feel free to ask questions if you see this video posted anywhere. Uh, again, this has been Eurigina, or Eurigina 120. I'm Jeff Clint, and hopefully you enjoy it.